Oh yes folks, it's the WC here with another video. In the video you'll see me as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing against my team, the Redskins, online rank gameplay. I'm not playing with the Redskins, I'm playing with the Bucks and I'm playing in St. Louis because I get tired of playing in Tampa Bay because that's you know Bucks are the only team I play with on this game. But anyway, the, you know this video is not necessarily about the gameplay. I can you know it's basically there as a distraction. The real purpose of this video is to talk about Stephen A's comments about, you know, supposed comments about battered women. And I'm, you know, I'm sitting over here, you know, I, I listen to the video. I'll link the video down below so you guys can watch it yourself, all right? You know what I'm saying? His comments. I watched the video about five to six times, and I, I can just firmly tell you that there was absolutely, positively, nothing wrong with his comments do you understand what i'm trying to say there was nothing wrong with what he said and i'm glad that he manned up and basically accepted his comments you know for what it were and you know he said hey you know he apologized but honestly in my mind i don't think that he really needed to apologize i don't think that he really needed to explain himself but he works for you know a publicly funded company you know saying that you know it's a part of the agenda you know, as you notice that my quarterback number seven doesn't have his name on the back of the jersey. That was weird. But anyway, back to the video. Um, he has the right to his opinion, and his opinion stands fast. So, just in case you don't want to watch the video, this is basically what he said. All right, in a nutshell. All right, he basically said, "Don't start nothing. Don't won't be nothing." Without really saying, "Don't start nothing. Don't be nothing." He pointed out that you know that there's scumbags out there. You know what I'm saying? that put their hands on women you know unprovoked unneeded all those other things and those guys need to be thrown in jail they need, as a matter of fact they need to be thrown under the jail as far as i'm concerned you know what i'm saying they need to get the, the crap beaten out of them but in some cases in which you know stephen a smith you know hinted at in the video in his comments about you know the whole situation with Ray Rice. This is basically stemming from Ray Rice and the whole situation. I've already spoken on the Ray Rice in, you know incident. I feel as though that we'll never really completely know what happened in you know that elevator. Rather, she put her hands on him and then he defended himself, or you know he put his hands on her and then ended up with her with her body on the ground. Only thing that we know is that her body was you know her limp body was carried off the elevator. We don't know what went on, but you know from what it seems like it was one of those things where it might have been a miscommunication between the two maybe a fight and maybe you know something happened I, I mean why else would the you know the nfl only give this guy two games for basically dragging his wife's limp body off of an elevator when it seemed like what it looked like he put his hands on her you know what i'm saying through the video and basically through speculation but you know we don't have that video of him physically putting his hands on his wife you know his wife now wife then fiance but he was basically commenting on that and he you know Stephen a basically brought up the point that you know women do you know some women do put you in a situation where you do have to kind of you know protect yourself if you dated enough women all right all right, let me speak to all the brothers all the brothers coming to the huddle all right let's, let's talk for a second if you dated enough women i'm gonna tell you like this there's, there's not a man in the world that's dated multiple women that will dislike this video after I say this, alright? You, if you've dated enough women, you know that there's some women that like to get physical with you, whether it's play fighting, whether it's serious fighting, I disagree with you fighting, or you cheating on me, Jody fighting, y'all ever see baby boy? It's the same stuff, alright? There's some women that do want to bulk up on you, hulk up on you, and, you know, test you or fight you like you're a man. You know what I'm saying? This stuff, this is reality. What Stephen A. Smith said, his comics were reality. You know, there are women out there that do provoke you to want to do that. And at the end of the day, you know, domestic violence at night, if somebody, you know, is putting their hands on you or physically threatening you, it's self-defense. All right. You know, I, I hate to bring up the, you know, the Zimmerman, you know, the Zimmerman case with Trayvon Martin. I hate to bring that up because that's just so that's so, you know, common in this, you know, this day and age to bring that up. But, you know, it's almost like staying your ground. If you feel like you threaten, you know, what I'm saying somebody's a physically threat, you know, physical threat to you and they putting their hands on you. Anything can happen. And he kind of hints at that saying that, you know, 
why would Ray Rice do that to his fiance in that elevator? You know what I'm saying? Without being provoked. You know what I'm saying? He basically painted the picture. He either said that Ray Rice is, you know, an abusive husband, abusive boyfriend, or he was provoked to act that way. He basically put that down for everybody to basically say. And I, hey, people have been saying this. This is not brand new breaking news, folks. This is stuff that people have been saying for a while. We've been saying, hey, it's either he's been provoked or this was one of those situations in which he's just an abusive boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, one thing that kind of, you know, disturbed, disturbed me with this whole situation. I understand that, you know, Michelle Beadle, you know, uh, one of the hosts for um, Sports Nation came out and said, hey, I was in an abusive relationship. I feel, you know, I, I, I understand that. I feel sorry for her situation. No, you know, no woman, you know, deserve to get basically beaten down, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, by abusive boyfriends. This stuff is real. There's no laughing matter. There's no joking matter. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that Stephen A's comments were offensive to her. It shouldn't have been offensive to her, but she... You know, it was one of those people that has basically been smack dab in the middle of something like that. So I can understand her point of view. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that, you know, people read completely what the man was trying to say or listened to the man what the man was trying to say. He basically gave you two outcomes of what probably happened. And honestly, everything you know that we're talking about right now between the media and public opinion is speculation the only two people that know what happened in that elevator is ray rice and his now wife the only those are only two people maybe goodell you know what i'm saying maybe the nfl offices know maybe the police know that were involved in it maybe they know but as far as like public opinion the media certain parts of the media is basically left for speculation we don't really know but if he only gets two games for you know that whole situation maybe it necessarily wasn't his fault maybe it was one of those situations in which he was provoked maybe it was one of those, maybe she slipped on a grape we don't know nobody knows but you know i think that overall i think that espn's um um hand was forced i mean i can't sit here and say that you know i agree with their suspension i like the fact that Stephen a was basically just taking it like a man He's saying hey what i said was wrong you know what I'm saying? If I, you know, if he offended uh, Michelle Beadle and she basically, you know, went off on Stephen A. Smith for having that point of view. And I'm sitting over here like, and I'm looking at her like, you know, I understand that you've been a victim. And from a victim standpoint, that that's understandable. But what he said was not wrong. What he said fit into the context of what reality is. And it just seems like the more that you speak reality, the more people start to shout you down. Just like with the Tony Dungy video that I did. You know what I'm saying? His comments were reality. And it didn't fit the narrative that they want to force down upon you. And it's real sickening. It really is that they like to put that they like to put down the narrative of what they want you to think instead of you thinking for yourself. And I know that there's some people, like I said, some people gonna come to this video and say, you know, oh I'm a promoter of uh battered battering women. No, I'm not a I'm not a promoter of that. I'm a promoter of, you know, um, basically keeping your hands to yourself basically and if somebody puts their hands on you all right then basically it's self-defense and if you feel threatened it's self-defense that's what I'm based I'm a fan I'm a fan of self-defense you keep your hands to yourself don't won't, won't be no drama won't be no instances won't be no police calling won't be none of that stuff you know what I'm saying when he said you know when they interpret it as don't provoke you know th this type of violence that's basically what it is don't provoke don't provoke it keep your hands to yourself i mean that's one of the first things that you hear as a young right keep your hands to yourself wash your hands don't pick up your nose don't pluck boogers don't grab booties you know what i'm saying keep your hands to yourself and as i mean as you get older you know what i'm saying maybe those things start to relax a little bit but there's still laws for that there's still you know prison time for that there's still hard time for that you know what i'm saying keep your hands to yourself and won't won't be no uh, domestic violence at the end of the day so yeah it's the wc man i'm probably going to re-upload this video you know edit it and maybe talk over it uh spoiler alert i basically blow this dude off the field he uh, rage quits i'm gonna I'm show y'all um in another video um but basically, I just wanted to do this video to say, you know, Stephen A's comments were not out of line. They were true. It was reality. You know, yes, it's offensive to some people, but to people 
you know, that's done been in this situation from both sides of the coins. You know what I'm saying? They can understand that his comments were real life. And I'd, I'd rather hear somebody that's going to tell me about real life on TV than somebody that's going to sit there and tell and try to spit me a narrative of what they want me to think. I don't I don't want I, I don't want the narrative of what the media wants me to think. I want the real thing. And that's the reason why I listen to somebody like Stephen A. Smith before I listen to anybody else on the ESPN network. I listen I look forward to hearing what he has to say about anything NBA, anything sports, because I know I'm going to get the real from him. And on this topic, he was just as real as he's ever been. And, you know, it is what it is. He, he's going to take his suspension. You know, hey, it is what it is. When you work for a company that that, that that spits out the narrative, that's something that you kind of have to expect. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you agree with, you know, ESPN suspending Stephen A. Smith for a week after his comments that, you know, offended, you know, some people like Michelle um, Beadle and, you know, basically is being painted as, you know, a promoter of uh, domestic violence. He's apologized since then. He said that what you know, he said that what he said was out of line. That you know, he accepts his suspension. So you know, just let me know how you guys feel down below. If you have an open mind, go ahead, comment down below. If you don't have an open mind, you know, just don't say nothing. I mean, it, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, what I'm saying this video is for the people that don't live inside of glass boxes. It's the WC. Drop a like, drop a comment, go ahead and share it a couple times. Let your friends know, man, about, you know, this whole situation. And, you know, topics that we need to speak more about, for real, in 2014. It's the WC, man. And until next time, peace out.